Okay, um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to split screens. Now, um, students in my classroom, um, thank you very much, by the way, have shown me the light of learning my tutorials in a better manner. I was on the dark side of looking at the videos and thought maybe, hey, you guys enlighten me on um, ways that I can watch my videos and you can, more importantly, watch them um, more efficiently. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you the split screen method. Um, so I'm going to first start to open up Adobe Illustrator. And you'll notice here that um, the orange flower is the Adobe Illustrator. That's our version we're using. And orange, you glad I pointed that out. So maybe you'll remember it a little bit uh, better. It's a CS2 version. So we're um, going a little bit further back with our versions, but um, that's OK. Um, then I have the do not register screen. I'm not going to give them any information because I don't want any spam. And you know how it is. Um, and um, we have the menu here, and um, we have new document, open document. If the menu does not show up, I'm going to go to file, new document, okay? So I'm just going to click new document here, and a new window will show up with my um, artboard. Um, uh, but at first I have to label it. So I'm going to call it just to be facetious, split screens, spacebar, my initials, okay, in caps. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice it's just um, one window right now um, with my um, artboard or digital canvas. I have the toolbars here and the color and stuff. So I'm just going to show you if everything gets kind of discombobulated or out of order. Um, oh, no, you know, I don't know where to get everything. Just go to Window Workspace Default. That'll get everything up, OK? So you don't have to worry about um, having to know the shortcut key F5 to get your colors open. Um, or so forth, okay? So window workspace default works very nicely with that. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I can take a look at my window here and I can move it around, okay? So it's, um, but if I hit this uh, box right here and maximize it, it's locked to my monitor so I can't click and drag it or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and restore down by hitting these two boxes here and I'm just gonna move this off and to the um, side and just shrink it down. So I grab this, these dot dot dots in the corner and I made an arrow and it allows me to um, pull it. Um, so you can see here if I grab the corner to this one, my Adobe Illustrator um, program, I can move it even more. I'm going to move this over just to see up oh, it's more than a half of a screen so I'm just going to move it even more. My um, digital canvas window and then the Adobe Illustrator program window. There we go. That looks uh, even, I guess I can make it a little bit bigger. You know, you don't have to be a perfectionist, but you know, give the space that it's entitled to, um, and then just go ahead and make it fit. And you'll notice that your digital canvas is a little bit off. So uh, my interface video goes over this, but just to um, kind of show you, H for the hand tool, and I could just kind of swing this over, and then just kind of make my colors where I want them so that we can use our t space and our time efficiently, okay? Um, so we're good here. I really can move that down. I don't really need it as much. And um, I have some space to work with. I can also zoom out by hitting Control minus to get more of a digital canvas. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my videos um, here so I can watch the videos and actually have my Illustrator as well. So I'm going to go to my computer, V drive. Uh, the V is in parentheses. Uh, why? Because graphic arts is very awesome. Speaking of graphic arts, there's the graphic arts folder. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the Art 6 folder. Um, one of the first tutorials in Illustrator that I show you is um, uh, in the tutorials is the using the pen tool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the pen tool, um, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And it's again, this is a really nice way for you to not only learn about you know what you see but actually apply it as well so I have that browser open and in, in explore if those of you who are not in my class and don't have access to the network um, my YouTube um, videos are Mr. F um, that's my name on YouTube my channel name and I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda bring this over a little bit and so I have the videos and just maybe make enough room um, and I'm just gonna hit the play button okay so I have my videos playing and then I have Illustrator right here so I can watch apply watch apply really nice so if I want to I can go where I last left off if um, let's just like hypothetically say I was you know right here Okay, and then you can always fast forward it to the exact part you want. Uh, 
Okay, and just, you know, again, um, you could see kind of the window of what you're doing. So I notice. Okay, and then I can actually go to the P for pen tool and apply my things that I want to work on. Now you may gotta make sure you click on Adobe Illustrator, otherwise you won't the shortcut won't work. So now that you see that the window is highlighted, I can go ahead and hit P and then I'm gonna go ahead and click and click and then I'm gonna hit Control Shift A and I did what I did in the video. Um, so really kind of nice, watch a video, pause it, actually apply. You could always, if you forgot what I said, you can go back and then hit the play again. And then, oh, and then I did the mistake in the video, made sure I click and oh no. So make sure that you're um, kind of following along and applying what you do. And also don't forget if you're clicking between windows, the window that you're on is the darker um, window, okay? So the lighter one is the other one. So make sure you're in that window before you actually apply your stuff. Okay, split screens are beautiful. It's a nice thing. Thank you students for teaching me this. Um, and it, again, um, if you really want to see things a lot larger, you can always go full screen um, if that's better for you. And then, um, you know, restore down and then put it back in that window if you don't, if there's type or something smaller. And then actually click on this. Whoops, I'll hit delete click, click, and then, you know, work the actual application. So really cool. Thank you again, students. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so make like a banana and split, um, well, your screens too. Okay? Thank you.